Hi, my name is um, Kat. I'm from Blogtacular. We're at Blogtacular on Twitter. We're a UK blog conference. Um, we're working at the moment on our first event, and one of our challenges is convincing companies that they want to sponsor us, they want to invest in what we're doing. How do we help them make that leap, understand that what they're investing in is that early platform involvement and that it will be exponential for their brand? Two ways. One, you listen. So you actually go to them and ask them what they want to get out of it. I mean, putting on events, you know this with this, I mean, putting on events, people just start going to where they think the brands or organizations that should put dollars into them without knowing if they even believe in event marketing. It might not even be your event. They might have decided theoretically that they don't believe in event marketing or they've allocated dollars somewhere else. So the biggest problem with salespeople is they don't listen. So the first thing you need to do is ask questions. Is this even theoretically? Because the second they say yes, now you can compare it to where they put their dollars elsewhere. The best way to get dollars is to compare yourself to something else they've done. Now, if you're in your first year, the things they've done are more established, they're safer, right? The thing you need to do is paint them a picture. And the picture you need to paint them is reverse engineering the most successful events ever. And so you should show them and you should do the homework on how the first South by Southwest actually happened. How the first LayWeb happened. And what you'll find out if you do the first LayWeb is that the early sponsors get a discount today and are saving themselves a fortune. You need to sell them a picture. First, ask questions. Find out it's even feasible. Second, when you, see what happens is when you ask questions, you get data. When they say yeah, and then you go which conferences, they go these five. Then you go watch what they do and you say listen, Timmy, you sponsored UK, UK, Expo, dot, you know, this, and all they did for you was throw your logo up here. Here's what I'll do for you. I mean, there's ways, but you need to reverse engineer from the actual question. Got it? I, I just want to learn something as well, being, being an events guy. So you're, you have a conference that pushes blogging or the, the benefits of that, is that right? It's on. Yeah. Essentially, it's um, a business conference for people whose business is blogging. So it's for blogging creatives, people who blog about design, um, creative people who show, have a real show, the, show them what's going on with Blog World in the U.S. It's a humongous event. It's going on June 4th, January 4th to the 6th in Las Vegas. Show them the brands that are involved. Show them Google and see what Blog World looked like six years ago because I can tell you what it looked like. It was small. Now it's 80 times the size. Okay. Paint a historical picture. But see, my, my question off the back of that is, to, just to you, just so I understand, when you say how do I convince people, what do you fundamentally want out of it? Like money. honestly, like do you just want, do you want, if you want money at the end no. of it? No, I mean we, we want it to work on three levels. We want it to work for us as a business, we want it to work for the businesses we work for, and we want it to be amazing for our attendees. We don't want to shortchange them. So we want to create partnerships between the brands and the attendees so that they can story tell, so that their blog outreach is elegant and um, it's, you want to Led educate them. creative bloggers so that they're doing something. There's also something else. Blogs. There's also something else you should do. You should go on my YouTube page and watch the video where I taught people how to get advertisers on their blog. Yeah. Where I just picked up the phone and called somebody. Like the answer to your question also is to knock on every single door. Like I get this all the time, they're like how do I get a sponsor? I'm like okay, like here I'm trying to move fast on Q&A and give you more of the religion than the church, but like how many people have you asked? Um, yeah, a lot. A lot of people. How many? Um, we're probably up to about 30 to 50 pe um, different companies, but we're targeting quite a niche. Well, um, get so the fuck out of your niche. Line. Okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? 30 yeah. to 50 is dick. <laughs> right? So first get out of your, first find more because if you have 30 to 50, I promise you, and don't make me double check because I'll call you out. <laughs> There's probably 30 to 50 other things that are close enough. Okay. Right? Did you ask WordPress? Automatic? Um, not yet, we're, we're talking to Did you ask Get Barley? I know, who you're, I know who you're looking for, but I also know that WordPress is a blogging platform yeah. that has fucking money, right? So you've asked 30 to 50 because you've narrowly decided you also want to go to people who can get the benefit of doing a better job of pitching to bloggers for their bigger benefit because that makes sense, but you're stuck, you're stuck here and you need to be looking here. Because by the way, you're running a marathon. It's not about this year. Get your money from fucking Pepsi. I don't give a fuck. Because if you get the money, then next year you can get the right person, right? I mean, people are too cute about what they're looking. I mean, when I hear startups saying we want to get the smart money, I'm like, asshole, you're not gonna get any fucking money. <laughs> you know, like, like, and so, so 
I think you need to get out of your zone okay. and you need to get your money. Okay, money first, niche later. Yeah. Yes, okay. you can be cute later, get your money <laughs> and you can, it gives you a whole nother year to build up for next year to story tell. Was it the, the understory for this A for check me. matters when you need it. When you talk about being true to yourself, the understory here to me is about doing what's true to yourself in your DNA. So if you wake up every morning saying, I want to educate people for this and create these collaborations, if that's the reason why you wake up to do it, then I find it comes together a lot easier. Like when we came up with Vayner World, we were just like, we just want to fucking do it. Like we've got one guy who's got a packaging company, me, I'm a DJ, you know. There wasn't like, we want to do it and retire this Christmas. And so if it's something you really kind of want to do, then that's cool. And if it's a check, then it's a check. And if it's a check, then yeah, call Pepsi or find anybody who's going to do the it. The other thing, this is just a very general rule. It's how I built VaynerMedia. I have no time to convince you to give me your money. I'd much rather spend that three hours finding 33 other people to pitch because two of them are just going to give you the money without the fucking conversation. I mean that. You like that? You know, like, like it's a really broken thought process. When I started VaynerMedia, People didn't want to pay us $5,000 a month for what we did. It was 2009, it was early. And people always kept asking me, how did you convince people? I'm like, I didn't. I'm like, I just want them to historically look back and realize how stupid they were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Save all the people that said no to you. You know, and then call them in three years when you're crushing. And say you're gonna charge them double. <laughs> when I heard one of my brands paid $400,000 for a web experience, when I know how much it cost Foursquare to build fucking Foursquare, not some dumb fucking landing page, I shit my pants. <laughs> so like if I put you on Snapchat and it gets you a ton of press and that helps you get a better relationship with your biggest customer, wasn't that a good reason to do it? Everybody's just too black and white. The world is gray. 